published in 1997, To Say Nothing of the Dog, or, How We Found the Bishop's Bird Stump at Last is a comedic science fiction novel by American novelist Connie Willis. It also received a nomination for the Nebula Award in 1998. Willis has written two other novels, Doomsday Book and Blackout All Clear, and a short story, Firewatch, that take place in the To Say Nothing of the Dog universe. These narratives detail the adventures of historians who take advantage of the development of time travel for research purposes. To Say Nothing of the Dog tells the story of Ned Henry, a historian from Oxford University in the year 2057 who is part of a team attempting to reconstruct to the last detail the Coventry Cathedral as it was before its destruction during the World War II Nazi Blitz. The plot revolves around Ned's efforts to rectify a disruption in the time continuum that occurred when a fellow historian rescued a drowning cat in the Victorian era and brought her back to the 21st century. The title is a reference to Jerome K. Jerome's Three Men in a Boat, to say nothing of the dog, a humorous account of the author's two-week holiday on the River Thames. At the beginning of the story, the Oxford History Department is nearly finished with its reconstruction of the Coventry Cathedral, an assignment given to them by the wealthy. American neo-aristocrat Lady Shrapnel in honor of her Victorian ancestor Toslin Maring, who credited a visit to the cathedral with a significant turning point in her life. Following the destruction of the cathedral during the Second World War, a mini-mall was built in its place. The reconstruction is only missing the bishop's bird stump, which mysteriously disappeared the night before the bombing. Historian Ned Henry has been traveling to the 1940s to jumble sales. Investigating the disappearance of the bird stump task the team is committed to because according to Lady Shrapnel, God is in the details. However, Ned has been forced to take a break from his mission because he has developed a time lag. After making too many jumps to the 1940s and back, his sabbatical comes to an unexpected end when, being the only available historian, he is sent to the Victorian era to return an object illicitly brought to the future by one of his colleagues. The pre-recorded information Ned is given to prepare him for his mission is jumbled, and he arrives in 1888 unsure of what his mission is exactly or where he is meant to meet his contact. Upon arriving in the 19th century, Ned quickly befriends young Oxford student Terence St. Trues and his pet bulldog, Cyril, and agrees to split the cost of a rental boat to take down the Thames for a meeting with Toslin Maring, with whom Terence claims to be in love. Along the way, they rescue Terence's mentor, Oxford Dawn Professor Pettick. Luckily for Ned, when the trio arrives at the planned rendezvous point, he is recognized by his contact, fellow historian Verity Kindle. Verity has been posing as Verity Brown, Toslin's distant cousin. When the group arrives at the Maring Estate in Munchings End, Oxfordshire, Verity explains that she was sent to the Victorian era to read Toslin's diary in which she references her life-changing encounter with the bishop's bird stump. According to the incomplete remains of the diary they have in 2057, this event prompted her to elope to America with the mysterious Mr. C. During her mission, Verity saw Toslin's cat, Princess Arjumand, drowning in the river, and brought her back to 2057, where cats have gone extinct due to a feline distemper pandemic. Ned and Verity return the cat, but when Terence and Toslin announce their engagement, they become concerned that they are already too late and the time continuum has been irreparably disrupted. If Toslin does not elope with Mr. C to America and make a fortune in Hollywood, then Lady Shrapnel may never be born. Also, if Terence does not marry Maud Pettick he will not be the grandfather of the RAF pilot who plays an important role. In the World War II bombing of Coventry Cathedral, Ned and Verity stage a fake seance to encourage Toslin's mother, a fan of spiritualism to take the family on a visit to the Coventry Cathedral. However, nothing life-changing seems to happen to Toslin during the visit. The only notable moment occurs when Toslin argues with the family's butler Bane about the aesthetic appeal of the bishop's bird stump. Toslin and Bane subsequently have a second confrontation in the Garden of Munching's End and the two decide to elope to the States. It is revealed that Bane was a pseudonym the butler was assigned by the Marings to disguise his Irish heritage a relatively common practice in Victorian households where British servants were seen as more prestigious. Bane's real name is William Patrick Callahan, and he has been seducing Toslin, taming of the shrew style. The timeline repairs itself. Verity reveals to Ned that she once jumped to the cathedral moments before the raid and the bird stump was clearly still there. 
they successfully recover the bird stump just in time for the consecration of the reconstructed cathedral. They share a first kiss while time traveling, meaning that, technically, their kiss lasts 169 years. To say nothing of the dog won the prestigious Hugo and Locus Science Fiction Awards in 1999. It also received a nomination for the Nebula Award in 1998. Writing for Booklist, Sally Estes described the novel as a stitch and a delectable romp. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.